hello everyone so this is the particular problem that we are going to address today so here let's say we have multiple players i'll make three players oh let's make it only two players and then here now we have two players and if i start playing from this player and now the AI character identified me but he also seen the other character as well but it doesn't always so now still he is looking at me even though he is trying to focus on the other character so it's almost like the character does not quite able to prioritize which character to focus on so that's why he's kind of walking around the place without actually hitting uh, attacking any of the actors so it looks somewhat confused so in a realistic world what should happen is since both of them are enemies he should have gone to the closest enemy so that's the issue i'm going to address now prioritizing uh, enemy targets all right before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from the patreon page so once you become a member you can download anything without a limit so feel free to check it out i'll leave the link in description below and this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system series i'm doing so you can watch all other episodes as well i'll leave the link to the full playlist also in the description all right so now let's get back to today's episode so how do we address the issue at hand first let me open our npc ai so here this is what i do when i have this on target perception info updated event so here whenever we lose sight of a character or whenever we uh, start seeing a character this function is updated when we lost sight this will be false when we start seeing this will be true so at the moment i haven't really considered the possibility of having multiple enemies for the ai so but when we are in a multiplayer environment it is possible that enemies will see more than one enemies in their perspective uh, in the same time so how should we address this first let me duplicate these two parts and connect here because i want to collapse this part as a separate uh, node because yeah i'll call it update target and i change this to an actor because this part going to be a bit complicated than just setting the than just setting the uh, keyword value so here i'll add a new variable i'll call it current target okay and this should be an actor all right now first let's check if we have a valid target a current target if not all we have to do is just if not valid set current target and set it as the value of this object so like this and the current target should come like this i'll call this maybe updated actor still connected okay oh, and if we do have a valid target then we should check 
which target is the closest so here uh, we can do it like this from the current target get distance to the controlled pawn that means this act and also let's check the distance to this newly identified actor as well from this actor and if this is greater than this value that means this newly identified actor is closer newly identified enemy is closer than the current enemy so in that case I think according to my current logic we should prioritize attacking to that character so here let's have a branch like this and then if this is true all we have to do is doing the same thing otherwise we don't really have to do anything so it's like this okay right and here when we lose sight what we should do is again we need to check if the actor that we lost sight of is the is actually the current uh, target so we just need to check if this is equal to the this updated actor when we lose sight and if this is true obviously we need to update and also we need to set current target as none all right now let's check here we have now we are in a multiplayer game so therefore we have two characters but let's check okay i got identified the enemy by the enemy and he should come to attack me and now he's seen the other actor as well but he's not attacking him oh. so actually that didn't work quite as expected I think that is because here uh, once we start in this flank or in this move to once we start moving towards the target even if the target is changed I think the character continues to move to the current location he wants to move yeah actually here we use the destination not the target actor okay so I think what we can do here to uh, work around that is here I'll make this to abort self if this target actor is if this condition is changed but even if I simply change the target actor this will not cause the rest of the part to stop execution unless this becomes uh, ta this target actor value is becomes not set so here let's add another check let's basically check if this updated actor and the current target is same Uh, if they are same we don't really need to do anything if not only we need to check and determine which one is the closest and here if we do get a new value let's do this let's first clear out the existing blackboard key and then update the new one like this so in this way we should interrupt 
the execution of this section if we update the target so let's check now here let's go here now the enemy is coming towards me once he starts seeing the other guy he's the closer one so he should be going to attack the closer enemy so yeah that's logic and you can see in the other window that's actually other player enemies attacking him okay great so that's actually all i want to work on in this episode but we are not done yet i think in future we might need to have an array to uh, keep all the currently visible enemies and maybe periodically check as the fight goes on which one is closer and dynamically change rather than relying only on these event calls to update the current target so let's look into those things also in the future episodes and thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye